All right, when you uh, f first open up Cakewalk, uh, some of the things you want to do is you want to set your audio configuration. So uh, normally it opens up for you guys to look like this a new project because you haven't done any uh, projects yet. Recent projects that shows the last ones I've done here. So you will see this new project. We're just going to close this down because we're not doing any projects whatsoever. We'll go to edit and we look at preferences. And now under preferences, the, the area that we're really concerned with is our audio and our devices. Well, audio first thing. We'll see that we have different devices. The one that makes the most important one is playback and recording and the driver mode. MME is a standard driver that's used by Windows. Now what you're going to find is that I, have to, I had to put my audio card into MME mode to work with my screen capture program. And because of that, uh, what happens is all of these, you can try all of these different ones to see which ones works. You'll hear that there's going to be a lot of delay when I talk and an echo, right? And that's because we're going through the Windows environment and there's a lot of delay and echo in it. Uh, the one that I use is called ASIO. I'm not sure what it stands for. Something IO input output, maybe audio system input output. And you need a special audio card to run this. and the audio card has to be, have that capability. What happens is there's minimum delay. It bypasses the, uh, the Microsoft, the Windows operating system and gives you uh, a very quick, no delay at all, right? So this is what you want to do if you get serious about using Cakewalk is find a audio card that uh, supports ASIO, right? So I've got a sound surround card. I'm only using the front speakers and the subwoofer on it. And that, that's all I need. And that. But for this demo, what I'm going to do is use MME, right? Uh, so once you set up MME, it should show you what um, devices are available. I have my microphone. I have a digital input. I have something called uh, what you hear. I'm not sure what that is. And that's my input devices. On the output, I have my speakers, Creative Sound Blaster. Go to driver's settings, playback, timing, master. All of this will come up normal. I've got this up here just to show you what my settings are. Playback and recording, we were there, MME, and I just use all the defaults in that. Audio profiles, uh, MME devices for sampling, 32-bit, pulse code modulated, left justified, whatever. Configuration file, I don't t uh, touch any of this, and sync and cache. Uh, something else now, if you have a MIDI device, uh, you should have the MIDI device plugged into your computer beforehand. I have a MIDI uh, running USB, and uh, what it should do is it should show up on, as a device here. I have an Oxygen 6161 key, uh, keyboard. It shows up as inputs and outputs and uses the Microsoft GS Wavetable synth. That, that seems to work the best. Um, playback and recording, I'm using driver mode MME. Uh, there's another one, UWP. I have no idea what it does. MME works. I'm happy just to get it up and, and running. Instruments. Now it goes through all the synthesizer and the different channels, the 16 channels and MIDI drums and stuff like that. I, what's going to happen is Cakewalk is going to take care of this for us, and we'll see. Uh, control surfaces. It can use a generic surface on Oxygen. This is all above mine, right? So at this point, we just want to get it up and running. So if you can get this portion up and running, then we're pretty good to go. This will end this part and then we'll start doing something with uh, audio and MIDI in the part three. Thank you.